a, a different drive today. 69 Imperial by Chrysler. It's not a Chrysler Imperial. Imperial was its own make back in the day. Very elegant cars. Tons of room in the back. Lots of room to stretch. Tons of legroom, like you can see. The front seats push most of the way back. And my feet are barely touching the floor. Down by the beach with a 69 Imperial. What a perfect day. Driving a perfect car like this. The car was sitting for 20 years. We tried the air conditioner this morning. We had to bypass it because there's some sort of a switch that's not working. Probably from age, but it blows cold. Tilt and telescopic steering. And again, plenty of leg and foot room down there. Seat's not even all the way back, and my feet can barely touch the pedals. Tilt steering. That telescope sent out too. Lots of room in this car. Plenty, plenty, plenty of room. This is a factory AMF from Radio Wonderbar that's going to be going into the car. One was sourced as well as the correct headrest to go in. For some reason they were missing from the car when the owner bought the car over 20 years ago. the original bulbs and the parking lights and the side marker lights. Let's put on the parking lights for a second. They're laughing because I like original bulbs and cars. Well, they're supposed to be amber. I'm quoted amber at that too. Don't laugh. Imperial. Yeah, different strokes for different folks. Big class three hitch on the car as well too. Nothing was done to the car except we rebuilt the carburetor and the glass tank had to be replaced. And it's on the road once again. There'll be lots more coming up with this one, believe me. Enjoy your